Welcome back to the Let's Play. This is episode 33. In the last episode, we went and found some dogs in a taiga biome. And uh, they all kind of look the same. They're all this white color. Uh, two of them I put dog armor on, but that's all the scoot I could uh, craft dog armor with. So I only have just enough for the two dogs. Um, I thought maybe I had a dog glitch in my world, but uh, it turns out maybe that's not true. And that this is a, just the color that the dog is in the taiga biome. And so if we wanted to find some other colored dogs, we would have to try to find them in another biome. In fact, I think uh, maybe a forest biome actually has brown colored dogs. And there are some other colors as well, including a, another darker colored uh, dog in a jungle biome. So we could check some other biomes if we want other colors. But for now, we got these four dogs. And in the last episode, I asked for names for these four dogs. And sadly, I got no uh, no dog names down in the comments, but that's okay. I have my own not-so-original idea. And so at the start of the episode here, I would like to name these four dogs. And uh, to do that, what I have planned is to dye each of their collars a uh, different color and then name the dogs just uh, based on the color. So let's go grab some dyes from our storage room down here. We should have all the colors I'm looking for. There's green. Uh, let's do blue. Uh, and we'll do white. And I think we'll do red as well. Uh, we can turn this poppy into a red dye, just like, uh, nope, not like that. There we go. So we've got uh, the four colors that I want. Uh, now, I'll, now all I need is a few name tags. And it looks like I only have two, but we can buy a couple more. The uh, librarians up in our trading hall sell name tags. So let's go pay a visit to one now. Uh, I think all the librarians have the same price. Yeah, 20 emeralds for a name tag. So let's just buy two for now. I don't want to spend emeralds that I don't need to. Even though we do have quite a few emeralds saved up now. I shouldn't be... So stingy, maybe, with the emeralds. <laughs> uh, they are plentiful, <laughs> as you can see by the uh, contents of this chest here. We have, we have quite a few. Okay, so we've got our four name tags. Uh, is it nighttime? It is. Let's sleep the night away, and then we'll go use these name tags uh, to give our dog friends some names. <laughs> Looks like we had a visit from a wandering trader. And... Oh, are you guys attached to leads? Where's the trader? Maybe he's outside. There he is, pulling on the uh, llamas. That's very strange that they got separated like that. Okay, it looks like we've traded with this uh, wandering trader already. Uh, maybe we just do this guy a favor. <laughs> and... Uh... We don't uh, we don't need him around anymore. If we want another wandering trader to spawn, uh, we, I, we're gonna want to get rid of that one. So let's see. I can't get back in there, can I? I have to go inside. Uh, the llamas they can stick around for a while, but I do want their leads if I can pick them up. Okay, there we got one. Yeah, two leads there, and I think I'll just throw them in this chest for now. We have quite the uh, lead collection there. All right, let's go upstairs. We have an enchanting area with an anvil that we can use uh, to name our dogs. So let's use, where's the, okay, this anvil here, and we'll put in our first name tag, and the name will be Aka. Aka means red in Japanese, and so we're going to use all the Japanese names for colors. Uh, so we're going to want one for blue as well, which is Ao. And let's do a name tag for white, which in Japanese is Shiro. And we need one more for green. And the name for green in Japanese is Midori. Uh, so there we go. We've got name tags for each of the colors we selected. Now all we need to do is dye their collars and give them their name. All right, dogs, prepared to be named. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't need to dye their colors red. They're already red by default. So I guess I didn't need the red dye. But let's go ahead and name this guy here Aka. 
That'll be our red dog, uh, red collared dog. And let's see, I want to dye blue, white, and green. Let's see, this guy over here with the dog armor, I think I want him to be blue. There we go. And we'll make this guy white. Yes, that worked. And hopefully green. Okay, perfect. Uh, now we just need to get the name tags and give them all the appropriate names. So this is Mirori here for green. We've got uh, Shido with the white collar and Ao with the blue. Now that we've got our dogs named, what I want to do with them is breed them up and take them to a trial chamber where we have not yet defeated it uh, ominously <laughs> using the ominous potion and uh, getting the uh, ominous keys and unlocking the ominous vaults. We haven't done that yet, not in this trial chamber, this new one, which I think is maybe our third trial chamber in this uh, Let's Play world. But uh, what I want to do is take the dogs with me and see how much of an advantage that gives me uh, fighting the mobs at the uh, trial spawners. Uh, so we're going to try that. But before we go, I want to get a whole bunch of dog armor so that when the dogs go into battle for us, uh, they're all geared up and hopefully uh, not too many of them will die. In fact, hopefully I can keep the uh, named dogs safe and maybe we'll just keep the offspring. Uh, we'll take them with us with the uh, dog armor to actually fight our battles for us uh, if that works out. Uh, let's see, in order to get more wolf armor, I think I only have, yeah, I only have four armadillo scoot. That's not enough to craft another set of dog armor. So what we're going to do is take these spider eyes here, and that's how you breed up the uh, armadillos. And we're going to head to the nearest savanna biome. Uh, I need some leads, and let's take some fences with us as well. Uh, there we go. Maybe even a couple fence gates. And we're going to go breed up a bunch of armadillos and get a whole lot of scoot. And then uh, use the scoot to craft a whole lot of dog armor. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find at least two armadillo that we can breed up. Let's use our wind charge launcher here and we'll fly over to the nearest savanna biome, which is this way. I wonder what color dogs are in the savanna biome. I haven't seen one yet. Not that I remember anyway. Let's see, where is the savanna? It's down here somewhere. Okay, there's the savanna biome just ahead. Now I remember that we've been here before and there were some armadillos. We just need to find them and wrangle them into a pen somehow. Uh, so let's look around real quick and see if we can find some of these guys. Uh, there was one down here. I remember we traded with a cartographer for a trial chamber map. And there was an armadillo somewhere in this area. Here, let's get some leads ready. I'm not sure where I want to set up my pen yet. Uh, I guess it just kind of depends on where we find the armadillos. Uh, let's have a look around the savanna. There could be others in places I haven't explored yet. Okay, I've just found an armadillo here, and it looks like if I keep the spider eye in my offhand, he will follow me around. Okay, there's another armadillo up there as well. Let's see if we can get the two together. In fact, I'll just use a lead. Uh, okay, grass blocks in the way. There we go. Let's lead this guy. I should probably set up the pen first, huh? Uh, but uh, maybe I can just temporarily put these guys on a lead and also on a, a fence post so that they don't run away on me. I mean, they are very slow, <laughs> uh, but I want to keep track of where they are. I've already lost the... Uh, other armadillo that I saw. Where did he go? Okay, right here. Let's lead this guy. Can you come back? Oh, I think I lost the other armadillo. Oh, no, they're both here. Okay, well, since they're together in this area, uh, let's go ahead and breed them up. Oh, let's attach them to a fence post first. Uh, do I still have their leads? Uh, okay, I think I just put them both on the fence post. <laughs> That worked out great, and I think I'll just build the pen around them. 
Uh, but while I'm doing that, let's go ahead and breed them. Can they breed while they're on the leads? Okay, yes, they did. And we have a little baby armadillo. My first armadillo scoot farm. They seem to drop at least one scoot a day, so that's good. They sure don't like it when I sprint around, though. <laughs> yeah, they do that. <laughs> oh, not the little guy. He didn't. The rest of them do. Uh, they're very interesting creatures. Uh, so we've got four scoot now. That's not enough for another set of dog armor. Uh, but I'll continue breeding them up, and pretty soon we'll be getting, uh, even at even if they only drop one scoot a day, we'll get plenty. <laughs> armadillo update time. We're up to 21 armadillo scoot, but uh, we are also down to 22 of the spider eyes. And so I can only breed these guys a few more times. And then we're just going to have to kind of hang out here to collect the scoot that they drop, which seems to be only about one a day. Uh, did I get everybody? Also, the uh, the armadillo offspring, they take over a day to grow up. And so we're going to have to wait until all the armadillo are fully matured so that we can get the uh, maximum amount of scoot out of this farm. But we're doing good so far. The drop rates are much better now that the armadillos have all grown up. Also, look at the view from here. We've got a jungle biome in the distance over there, badlands, a forest, savanna. It's really nice on top of this hill here. Uh, we're up to over a stack of armadillo scoot, and so that's enough to make, oh, a dozen wolf armor or so. And so I think it's time to get out of here. Uh, let's go. Yeah, we can always come back and get more scoot later. This farm will be here when we need it. But it's time now to return to base and start breeding up the dogs. Ah, oh, look at the base from here. It's looking pretty good. A lot of new structures here. I might even end up adding some more. There's room over here, room over here, <laughs> all over the place. Oh, it looks like maybe the uh, llamas got out. Well, at least this one did. <laughs> uh, I'll let them roam the base. That's fine. All right, so it's time to breed up the dogs. And they're all up here doing nothing. I need something to breed them with. Oh, I have chicken. Does chicken work? Uh, let's just use rotten flesh. We have a lot of that for free from our gold farm. Okay, there's some right here. We'll just grab this and start breeding them up. I think I'm going to try to get about a dozen dogs, and that's probably where we'll stop. Uh, let's start by breeding uh, Ao with Shido, and then we'll do uh, Aka here with the Midori. <laughs> There we go. Now we got some wolf pups. We should probably sit them down after we breed them up, uh, just to keep them from wandering off. Uh, we're, okay, there's Ao. <laughs> Come back in. Okay, well, you can stay out here. No, I'll just push him back in the door. It's fine. The uh, puppies, I don't mind if they run around a bit, because uh, they're not named, and we don't really need to keep them safe. We're going to use our named dogs mostly for breeding. Here we go. Uh, I think we'll even try to do the same ones every time. Hey, little puppers. Here, yeah, well, I'll, I'll sit them down. <laughs> It'll drive me crazy eventually if we have them running all over the place. All right, so we've started breeding the dogs, and soon we'll be off to the trial chamber with an ominous potion. Time to breed the dogs again. Uh, we'll be halfway there. 
after we breed them one more time. There we go. The puppies we bred previously haven't grown yet. Which one didn't I get? Midori. What was that noise? <laughs> Did somebody fall down the hole? Okay, I didn't breed somebody. Who is it? We should. Okay, there we go. We got one more wolf pup. Let's sit them all back down. Yeah, what was that sound? There was like a crunching sound. Did you know wolf pups, they keep the uh, collar color of uh, one of their parents? I didn't know that they did that. We now have 12 dogs bred up, but not all of them have grown up. Uh, it looks like we still have six that are still puppies. Um, but anyways, let's go down into our storage room and craft our dog armor, and we'll start moving the dogs closer to the trial chamber. Uh, let's see, what's the recipe again? It's something like this. Okay, there we go. How many is that? Oh, that's a lot of dog armor. <laughs> is it dog armor or wolf armor? Wolf armor. I keep calling it dog armor. That's the way I think about it once you've tamed the dogs, but that's okay. It's called wolf armor, and I'll get used to it. Uh, let's see, I need to make two more. Uh, how was it again? <laughs> Something like this, why I can never remember how it is. Uh, there we go, okay. Um, that's going to be one more, and then we just need to make one more after that. Like a so, and so that is... 12 sets of wolf armor. All right, let's start moving our wolves. We have everything we need for the trial chamber. Uh, this should be very interesting. I'm counting on the uh, teleportation mechanic to uh, make sure that the dogs are near me while we're fighting the mobs at the uh, trial chamber. And so we'll see how that works out here. Uh, let's unload some of our inventory by putting uh, this wolf armor on some of the dogs that have grown already. So we'll put one, two, three here, and how many more can we do? At least three more, right? There were, si there were six dogs grown up, I think. Uh, so now you can use the armadillo scoot to repair the dog armor when it takes damage, because uh, it, it's a, it takes, a, it has a certain amount of durability. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that during the fight at the trial chamber. We have other things to worry about. So let's take the rest of our dog armor and our dogs and start moving them. Uh, the first thing we need to do is stand them all up. <laughs> okay, did I get... Okay, so this is where teleportation is going to be important in order to keep the dogs with me. Okay, are they all stood? The only ones that I don't want to come with me are the original four, and it looks like they're all still seated. So let's move these dogs on out. And we'll get them. Okay, see, a lot of them teleported outside. Let me check inside real quick. Yeah, it's just the original four dogs in there. And we need to go this way. I've dug a tunnel over to the uh, trial chamber spawner. Uh, so if we go this way uh, and then down this ladder here, there should be... <laughs> They're all going to need to teleport in order to get down here because they can't use the ladder. So we'll find out if this is actually going to work. Once I get to the bottom, there's a room that I've dug out. And hopefully all the dogs will teleport down to me. Oh, okay, it looks like they're already here and waiting. Some of them are wet even. Uh, let's sit them down again because they, ha they haven't all grown up yet, so we're not ready to take them into battle. I just want to do a head count and make sure that we got all 12 of them down here. Uh, we could actually breed them again if we wanted to. Uh, but they, the extra dogs wouldn't have the uh, wolf armor. That's the only problem. Okay, uh, let's see. You're not seated. Okay, it looks like we've got everybody here. Let's just wait for the last six to grow up, and then we can put the armor on them as well. Well, it looks like there's only, well, there was only two dogs that hadn't grown up yet. I have one extra wolf armor in my inventory, so I'm not sure who that belongs to, but I just decided to breed all the dogs one last time. 
And now let's go to the trial chamber. It looks like they're all standing. So let's make our way there down this long corridor and they should be able to keep up. It looks like they're going to have to stay mostly single file, but they appear to be teleporting forward as I move. And so I don't think there's any possible way that I can outrun them. It's trial chamber time. It looks like all the dogs made it. Now I want the ominous loot, so we're going to drink this ominous potion. <laughs> and now we're ready to go in and put these dogs to work. Come on, guys. There should be a spawner right up here. So this is the first spot that we're going to do battle. I want to activate all the spawners all at once. There we go. And then we'll see what these dogs are made of. <laughs> Let's put a shield in our offhand. And it looks like we've got some spiders and some uh, bog. Let's start taking these guys out. Oh, I almost hit my own dog there with my sword. All right, let's take out the spiders first. Wow, I'm, I'm not really taking a lot of damage, but I think we're going to lose a lot of dogs from this. Uh, what was that? That was a bog? Oh, no, we've got a... Uh, I'll go after this guy. I think the wind... What are they called? These guys? I think they're going to be a challenge for the dogs. So I'll deal with the... I'll deal with that mob mostly all by myself. Oh, a lot of dogs ended up down here. Oh, they're on fire too. Alright, here, let's switch to our bow and we'll start taking out some mobs from down here. The spiders are easy. Wow, it's so noisy and chaotic here. <laughs> Alright, let's retreat just a little. I need to, I need to eat. All right, we've got all the dogs on us here. Let's put out this fire. It looks like the dogs are not going after the uh, the little mobs, like these slime. Oh, I just got launched up. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, I'm hitting my own dogs, and that noise is their armor breaking. I can even see the damage on some of their armor. Here, let's go back up. Uh, I need to take out these slime. I have to remember too, I have sweeping edge on my sword, so uh, sometimes I'm gonna do damage to my own dogs, which isn't great. Oh, there we go. My my sword does a lot of damage, actually. I can hear their armor breaking. Uh, to prevent that, oh, there's another wind. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, I sat you down in the corner. And you too, probably. All right, let's get rid of this little slime. And then there should be a few more mobs left. Let's go back up top. All right. Okay, we've got another... Oh, the dogs do attack. Do they do damage? Oh, there's a spider up here. I can take care of that one. Oh, I heard uh, something dispensing. Okay, there we go. This The breeze is still here, though. we got to get rid of this guy. Will the dogs take out the breeze? It looks like the breeze... Yeah, they did! I saw the breeze taking damage. The The dogs did great there. And I think that's it. I think the battle is over. I don't see any mobs left. There we go. We got a couple keys. And a couple of potions. How many keys? Okay, just one ominous key. We're going to need more than that. So let's go find some more spawners. Uh, do I have enough food to heal these guys? The dogs? Uh, no, no, I'm all out of food, it looks like.
No way. <laughs> I just got a heavy core. Wait a minute. Two of them. I mean, I just got one from this ominous vault, but I had another one from a previous ominous vault, and that makes two in a row. I didn't know that you could get that many. It was so hard to get my first one. Wow, two more heavy cores. That means we can make a couple more of those uh, hammer things. Well, the dogs did great. There are four in here, and let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think we even had more than that. One of them fell down here for some reason. So what is that, fourteen? If I think fourteen survived, that's quite a few, and they did great. I barely had to fight at all. Here's some of the loot that we got from the vaults. Um, let's see, oh, it looks like we still have one ominous trial key left as well. Uh, but uh, we got two heavy cores. I'm very pleased about that. And the rest is very common loot. Almost a stack of slime balls, a bunch of wind charges and breeze rod, and even three diamonds. And uh, another bad omen. So that'll be good. Maybe we'll come back here with the dogs again. That was a good fight. I'm back, doggos. How you doing? So with two heavy cores, I think what I want to do is keep one of the heavy cores as a souvenir. I'll just put it in this kind of valuables chest here. But with the, uh, with the other heavy core, we can go ahead and make a second mace. So we'll do that now. And I want to enchant it as well. Now on our original mace, we have the Breach 4 enchantment. Let's see what we can get on this one. I have 31 levels, which is just enough to get something good. Um, I also got a wind charge book, and I think that's not the first one I've gotten, so it might be possible to combine wind charge enchantments and put that on the mace as well. Let's take a look in our uh, library here. We've got some extra books, and it looks like... Okay, we have density four, that might be interesting. I don't know exactly what I did with the other wind burst book. Uh, I might have to have a look for that, but let's see what we can get on the mace. I need some lapis. Here we go, and we can put that in the enchanting table. And it looks like density five is available. I am definitely interested in that. <laughs> And we also got Unbreaking 3, so let's put Mending on this as well. Do I have enough levels? Yes, I do. Uh, do I have an extra Mending book? Uh, Silk Touch. Okay, Unbreaking Mending. There we go. And we can put that on the book as or on the mace as well. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about it breaking. Now I would like to add this Windburst book, but I want to see if we have any more of those before I do. I was able to find one additional Windburst 1 book, so if I combine them in the anvil, we can get Windburst 2, and then we can use the anvil to add that to our mace. I'm sure that, that that's probably not as good as Windburst 3, but maybe in the future we can level it up again if we find a couple more of these books. Uh, let's see, do I want to rename this mace? <laughs> uh, not right now, maybe another time. Anyways, that is going to do it for me for this episode of the Let's Play. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Let's give it up for those dogs. Yeah, they did great.